demonstration of an AGI four axis CNC EDM. It's a uh, RAM type machine with a tool changer. The model on it is Agitron Advanced 3. It was built new in 2004. It was used for one job and uh, the job uh, disappeared, oh, I'd say uh, in uh, 2008. And uh, the machine has never been uh, really is never been used after that. Uh, it is in plant at the moment under power, and we're going to demonstrate uh, some of the functions uh, on the machine. Uh, the dielectric uh, fluid has been removed, uh, and uh, so there's only a limit of how much we can uh, show in the demo. The, uh, I just wanted to say that the uh, work table size is 19 and three quarters by 27 and a half. The tank dimensions are 25 and a half by 37 and three quarters by 14 inches high. It has uh, x-axis travel of 13 inches, y-axis of uh, about nine and three quarters, z-axis of 13 and three quarters. These are uh, estimates. And the uh, c-axis is integrated completely at 360 degrees. Peak amperage is 63. Uh, maximum workpiece weight is 2,200 pounds. Has a number of tools or uh, uh, four positions on the on the uh, side here, and six in the back. And this is the uh, work area. Machine is in uh, beautiful condition. Like I said, it was very lightly used. Looks like it has a System 3R holder here. Uh, some of the tool holders that you can see, different uh, configurations of what they were using. Uh, here's the control panel. It's got a mouse pad, handheld uh, operator control panel. And I'll just do a quick walk around the back side of the machine. It's got a fire retardant system on it. It's got the manuals for the machine. Which are right here. So uh, if we could do the tool change and then uh, maybe just uh, after we do a tool change, we'll do some of the uh, um, just the XYZ movements. I get uh, just oriented the uh, spindle. Looks like it has a tool probe.
Okay. We're going to grab one of the tools up on the front side here. I think you can uh, clearly get an idea how clean the machine is, how little it has been used. Uh, and the, uh, the actual operator for the machine had been let go uh, when they lost the work for the machine, but uh, we're uh, able to jog it around at this point. And I had uh, what's that? I had to stop here. Yeah, yeah, we we had to stop here, otherwise, uh, because there's no dielectric fluid in the machine. Uh, the, uh, you know, just burn up on us, so. Just wanted to give you a quick demo on that, and uh, I don't know, uh, from here, is there, I know we did see it moving around a little bit, is there any other uh, movements you might recommend, or uh, not really? Uh, that was it, you know, it's home. Yeah, okay. Cool, and then now it has to burn, so. Okay. That's that part of the valley. Right, yeah. Okay, so, uh, that's the machine, I hope, uh, can we open these at all, you think? Or are they locked? Uh... Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. That's all right. Just thought I'd open the door for now, just so we can see the plate, uh, the work area, wide open. All right, uh, that's the machine. I hope uh, it gives you a good idea of uh, what it is, what kind of condition it's in, and uh, what you can expect. Like I said, uh, it just has uh, extremely little use on it and uh, is in excellent condition. If you'd like to arrange to see this machine under power, please give me a call. Thank you very much.